Being a fashion creator for some time now, I have been on a journey to develop my personal style. And one of the things that I love about this journey is that I allow myself to try different things out, you know, make mistakes, and periodically I reassess my personal style to see what are the pieces that I absolutely love, you know, those pieces that will stand the test of time, and what are the pieces that make me cringe whenever I look back at pictures from like two to three years ago. As someone who is petite and curvy, you know there are a lot of different things that I see on other people that I love but when I try them on myself they don't really agree with me so in this video I'm going to go through the different things that I've stopped buying just because they don't agree with my body shape or they don't agree with my style and this has helped me to really improve my personal style makes me um, also to get dressed real fast and Honestly, it has also helped me to get more confidence in my style. And just a little reminder here, the pieces that I'm going to mention does not mean that these are not stylish or out of style or ugly, whatever. It just does not agree with my personal taste. So take it with a grain of salt and take it more as an inspiration if you have a similar style as I do. All right, so the first item that I stopped buying, cigarette pants. And I remember a couple of years ago, I loved cigarette pants because especially when going to work, you know, they looked pretty polished and stylish, but I don't know what it is. I think it's just... I haven't found a good pair that fits me properly in a long time. I also feel like they are a little bit too form-fitting for my style. Um, because cigarette style trousers, let's be honest, I'm not going to really wear that casually. I would more gravitate towards like jeans in that, uh, in that uh, for those occasions. So for me, cigarette pants were um, a particular style of pants that I would wear, uh, wear to work. And for work, I thought it was a little bit too form-fitting. So that's one of the reasons that I stopped uh, buying cigarette pants, even though I love them on other people. But for me, because I have like very large hips and side piece, it just you can really clearly see that <laughs> you know with my waist and then like a big uh, big uh, hips and stuff and i just didn't think that was appropriate for the workspace um so that's the reason that i stopped buying them nowadays i just gravitate more towards the white leg pants i think they are way more comfortable and they fit my frame also way better i just love how you know with a white leg pant you get the cinched in waist and then the legs are just nice and flowy it also elongates my body frame so for me that's just the way to go when it comes to pants all right the second thing i stopped buying you guys don't come for me but it's pencil skirts i don't know what it is about pencil skirts it's just it's giving me it or it gives me like you know rich auntie vibes but not in the best way especially if you pair them with pumps with pointy pumps i don't know it's giving like a tourney at law but i feel like it just outdates my style and i am 31 i'm not 41 or 51 <laughs> oh my god but yeah i just i don't know i just feel like it's a piece of clothing that's for people who are a little bit more mature uh working at an office and for my office where, where i work at is not that formal so i used to have one pair of pencil skirts that i loved from river island and just every year or every season when i was doing my decluttering i was like you know I'm going to keep it because you never know but I never wore it and it, it, it's another thing that for me it's a little bit too form-fitting for the office space especially if it has the slit in the back for me it's a little bit too sexy and yeah I never wore that one piece that I had so that's why I decided to donate it and at this point like that was like two years ago I've never bought another pencil skirt again and honestly also if you have thick thighs like i do it's not comfortable to walk in especially if you have those tube ones 
and it also shortens my legs because it comes if you have one that comes like right around your knees or a little bit uh, under your knees it really shortens uh, your legs so that's another reason why i stopped buying them and in my opinion also because i was like maybe i can wear it in the weekends but it's too formal for the weekends like in the weekend honestly if i'm going on a date night or whatever I'm, i never wore it so there you go another piece that i stopped uh, buying as a petite and curvy girl the next piece that I stopped buying, white jeans, you guys. This is a one piece that I see in all capsule wardrobes, summer essentials. Should you know, I think I included it in my capsule wardrobe or essentials videos at some point, but I do have a beautiful pair of, um, a pair of white jeans from Abercrombie that fits me to the perfection. So that's not the issue for me um but i just i don't know i just don't wear it that often if i want to wear jeans i'll go for my regular blue jeans but just the white jeans for me it's really a summer piece and honestly in the summer if the weather is like hot i'm not going to be in jeans so i think what i'll be doing i'm not going to get rid of um, that pair because it just fits me so nicely and Whenever I feel like I need a, um, a white jean, I have it. What I'm going to do is get a pair of white linen trousers or just white tailored trousers, something like that to replace the white jean for me in my wardrobe. Because sometimes I do want a light pair of pants. What I have right now is more of a creamish, like linen-y pair of trousers, which I wear all the time. But sometimes if you want something like white, then I don't have anything besides that jeans, that pair of jeans, but I just don't wear it. I give up. So that's another thing that I also can give you like, there are so many videos of capsule wardrobes. I make some videos of capsule wardrobes because I really believe in it, but you don't have to take every single thing that is recommended, take it too seriously. Just look at your lifestyle, your wardrobe, what works for you and take that as an inspiration. And that's this particular piece is how I learned about that as well. So yeah. All right, moving on to the fourth piece and that's horizontal striped shirts or t-shirts. And this is another classic essentials that I see in all of those capsule wardrobe Pinterest boards, but I never. Like I I think the last time I had a striped horizontal striped shirt is like six years ago i'm not exaggerating because i just don't think that it flatters me i see like for example for sweaters i do love that look with like a nice striped horizontal striped sweater with a blazer over it or just on its own but when i tried those types of sweaters or t-shirts on they just don't make my body justice they make me feel a little bit wider and i just don't wear that at all so that section of shops <laughs> i just skip it and honestly also the way that i try to curate my style is whenever i'm getting dressed if i feel like oh you know what will look good with this outfit is a white handbag for example i have never thought uh, about a striped uh, shirt or t-shirt in that way so i never go like oh with these jeans a white shirt a, a, a striped shirt will look good so that's also like what i pay attention to what is uh, going on in my head when i'm getting dressed instead of just buying stuff because everyone thinks it's an essential just really think about my own style what for me is something that i'm missing and then fill in that gap all right camis i know that you've heard this one before as well every lady needs uh some camis some silk camis and i promise you i've tried it but this is another piece that just did not integrate well into my wardrobe and my lifestyle um again love it on other people i think it looks super chic very feminine especially the camis with like a little bit of lace detail everything 
but what I don't like about it is that like camis for me mostly none of my tops I wear um, tucked out I always tuck them in because I feel like that way my waist is uh, is accentuated and that's one of the best features of my body so I love to accentuate that and for camis when I tuck them in they they stay a little bit flimsy or I'll put a couple of pictures so you guys can understand what I'm saying but it doesn't stay like very nice and tucked in and just put together it's just a little bit more relaxed and I 100% understand that that's the way it's supposed to be it's just not what I like you know when I'm wearing um I don't know bodies I, I when I'm wearing like a tucked in cami like that I always uh, rather grab my bodysuit because that way it's more streamlined especially if I'm wearing it like with white leg pants or with white leg jeans you know I want something very form-fitting on the top I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore and with skinny jeans I do think that camis like a little bit more voluminous on the top will look great but I just don't really wear that anymore like with my leather i tried pairing my cami with my leather pants and that look it just was not hitting for me it just there was just something not quite right so that's why i was like this is just not for me and that's okay also another thing because it has the like very thin um spaghetti straps you can't really wear your normal bra with it so you have to wear a strapless bra and i'm like this is just not something that is a grab and go and if it's an essential it has to be an essential for me something that i can wear and style so many different ways and for me a cami just did not do that uh, for me in my wardrobe another thing that i stopped buying is shirts or blouses with balloony sleeves or like with puffy sleeves or also you sometimes have i think it's called like a bell sleeve three years ago like three no i would say four years ago i was all over like all up in this trend and i don't think it's a trend actually it comes and goes but i think that puffy sleeves are something that that it has become like a classic at this point but sometimes like you have periods that they are a little bit more trendy and i was all up in there i really went in i had a lot of different shirt um uh boat shirts and blouses like with puffy sleeves and but i just when i look at my back at my pictures i'm like that's another thing that i feel like really outdates me makes me look way more mature than i than i am and it just wasn't coordinating with how i envisioned my style and i think that they look super elegant like for example you have the daily sleeper dress which has the puffy sleeves which I absolutely love on other people and there are so many beautiful both dresses and shirts and blouses that have that looks super chic but just for me i'll i rather stick to the boring normal classic silhouette because for me that's just i feel way more confident in that particular style and speaking about boring <laughs> another thing that i don't really w wear or buy that often is um prints and some people might think that my style is boring and very flat you know with a lot of neutrals and not a lot of color but hey i'm wearing color today so jokes on you but <laughs> but no i i tend to disagree because um i feel like there is a lot of power in really knowing what you like and owning like what you what you feel the most confident in so whatever you feel confident in if that's bold colors if that's like you know big statement jewelry and i don't know whatever it is like a lot of print uh if that's the way that you like to express yourself go for it and i'm 100 percent for that i remember that i made a video a couple of years ago about like things that make you of uh, look more expensive or something like that and i don't i don't like that type of videos anymore because i feel like there isn't 
there is like some type of stereotype or whatever like people feel like you know you have to dress like very classic to look expensive but i completely disagree this is just a style that i like i don't wear it because i feel i want to feel expensive i just think that it's super easy for my uh, lifestyle because i can mix and match things in different ways but if you have the um, talent to mix and match your prints and your bold colors in different ways as well just go for it and i don't feel like we have to say that those types of things are not don't look expensive you know it's what i'm saying i'm trying to explain myself but i'm not sure if this is coming over as i have it in my head but i just think that um prints for me because they are so difficult to wear them in different ways at least i haven't learned yet how to do that that's why i stay away from them it's one of the types of pieces of clothing that i do like prints it's like tresses because then you have one piece right you don't have to think about okay what am what am i going to match with this so I, there are a lot of beautiful prints that are very subtle um when it comes to summer dresses and things like that that you know you can wear them so many times without it um looking so obvious that you're wearing the same thing over and over again so for that 100 percent but when it comes to like bold geometric print or like very bold floral prints i tend to stay away from those however this is uh i'm really contradicting myself here because if you have been following me you know how much i love my leopard print skirt from h&m i wear that to the ground <laughs> especially like in the summer whenever the weather gets good that's the skirt that i'm taking out because for me leopard at this point is a neutral in my book because i pair it with so many different things and i'm sure that there are other prints as like that as well that you can combine in multiple ways i just have to experiment with that a little bit more but for now i just i have come to realize that in my wardrobe i just stopped buying prints for a little bit all right another thing that i stopped buying is first of all a bunch of sunglasses and second of all well specifically oversized sunglasses ever since i got my um, sunglasses from saint laurent it's just such a classic and you know straightforward pair of sunglasses that goes with everything so you know when it comes to accessories and things like that i like to keep them very minimal and if i have a good pair of, sun of sunnies that does the job you know i don't really need a bunch of other ones i have like two um pairs from h&m that i love to wear as well especially if i'm going to the beach or something like that i don't take my expensive um, sunnies with me but i used to have a pair of sunnies from key australia like a big uh beautiful one was white i think it was a collection of j-lo and i i loved it i loved that pair but i just did not wear it so it was sitting collecting dust and last month i decided to donate it because i just was not getting my wear out of it i just felt like it was clashing with my style a little bit my style is pretty toned down so you can say that with your accessories you can make a statement but for me that particular pair was just clashing with my outfits so i do i am on a hunt for a pair of white sunglasses because i think that it's a great way to add a little bit of funkiness to your outfit but i'm looking for for a pair that's a little bit more um in accordance with my with my face shape so not something that's so big and oversized but i think i saw one from celine and also one from i think it was from Saint Laurent as well so I'll put up a couple of pictures of things that I have my eye out for but yeah something like that I think will integrate a little bit better in my wardrobe all right I have two things right here so but I'm combining them into one that I also stopped buying and that's t-shirt and shirt dresses this is another one of those pieces that 
every article that you read about summer essentials, spring summer essentials, capsule wardrobe, whatever, you will find that on the list. And for me, it just does not do my body frame justice. Especially, you know, sometimes you have shirt dresses that have a little bit of a belt that cinches in the waist, but I just, it's, <laughs> especially if it doesn't have that, I will look like a flap, like potato sack with no uh, shape whatsoever. And that's just not what we're going for. We want to, you know, accentuate our assets. <laughs> but yeah, that's just, something that I haven't bought in like so long because it just does not agree with my style with with my body shape and any of that and I believe me I have tried to wear those with like a little belt with like an extra layer over it but it's just this was not giving and also I think that it makes me look shorter because most of those t-shirts or shirt dresses come a little bit above your knee or right around your knee area and that's a no-go for us petite girls because it makes your your legs look way stumpier and shorter so unless you have a shirt dress that is like a little mini you know there are some cute ones but that's not something that i I would wear like you know regularly so I just stay clear of those and the last thing that I stopped buying is uh, three-quarter sleeves this might seem like you know what she's talking about but it's just some brands or some styles of blazers uh, shirts as well blouses they have like those three-quarter length sleeves and I just not that I don't get it, but it doesn't agree with my frame again because it makes my arms look way shorter. I rather, but this might be a little bit contradicting because when I wear regular shirts, I do like to roll up my sleeves sometimes to a three quarter length or all the way um, around my elbow. But that's just different because you're doing it on purpose. You know, it's a little bit casual like that. But when you are buying a sweater or a blazer that's quarter length, I just feel like it doesn't look classic. I don't know, maybe it is, but I just feel like i rather buy the full length and then roll it up. <laughs> that might, might uh, sound crazy, but yeah, I just, I haven't bought, bought a three quarter length sleeved item in like so long because it just, I don't like that style let's just put it that way and that's it you guys i really hope that you enjoyed it i do have other pieces as well that i stopped buying but these are a little bit more specific to like summer or like the hot months so if you like this video and you found it helpful let me know i can make another one for like more the fall winter type of clothing as well because there are some items in that category that i stopped buying as well and like i said this has really helped me to streamline my style to really find the things that i love that i keep wearing over and over again and it just makes my life way easier to get dressed and I feel way more confident because I know, you know, like a nice power blazer with like a shirt. I have like those default outfits that I go for that I love and that I wear so much and that I feel so good in. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this and please give this video a thumbs up and yeah, subscribe if you're not yet. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.